Hello everybody, this is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video. This is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, and the tennis pastor coming back at you again with another video. Okay, people, um, I got a text, and this is how I came up with the title for this video. I got a text from a friend. Well, I said at the federal beat Warinka, Warink, uh, I sent my friend a text because I didn't think he was watching the match. And he said, uh, I said, hey man, Federer just uh, beat Warinka. He's going against the Dow now in the semis. We got the dream semifinal match. And my friend texts me back. He said, ooh, that's great. He said, the greatest tennis player of all time versus the king of clay. Okay? And um, so that's how I came up with the title. So... Uh, that inspired me to uh, come up with this video and uh, explain this topic. Okay, this is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, and the tennis pastor coming back at you again with another video. Uh oh, okay, people. Now I just made a a video saying that uh, uh, I'm giving Federer a good chance of beating the Dow. I'm not choosing him to beat, but I'm giving him a good chance, a much better chance than anybody else. And I said it's only three people that think Federer has a good chance of beating the Dow. That's me, uh, Lubachek, Federer's coach, Lubachek, and uh, Federer himself. And Federer is the one that needs to believe that he can beat Nadal. Or to, uh, or to think that he has a good chance of beating Nadal. Okay, now, people, this this video means exactly, it, it means exactly what the title says. At least I'm going to explain what that title says. The title sounds sort of uh, straightforward, but it's deep. It, there's a there's some deep psychological dynamics, past dynamics, uh, present dynamics, future dynamics behind that title. The greatest tennis player versus the greatest clay court tennis player. Okay, okay. Oh, I could have said the greatest tennis player versus the king of clay or god of clay. But we'll say the greatest tennis player, Federer, versus Nadal, the greatest clay court player. Okay, now you may say, Magic Man, I mean, okay, okay, whether we agree with that or not, well, that sort of sounds sort of true. We, of course we know Nadal is the, uh, the, the greatest clay court player of all time and we can say arguably I put I, I get Federer the GOAT but I will say arguably me arguably not unarguably because that means there's no doubt uh, arguably meaning there is some doubt that you can debate it okay and then there's there's a little debate but I I, I would say Federer has proven to me he's 70% the GOAT okay you know, I feel 70% sure that he's the GOAT right now, okay? All right, or even a little more than that. But, 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 okay, so here we go. You may say, Magic Man, what is that greatest, the greatest tennis player, Federer, greatest tennis, tennis player of all time, Federer, versus Nadal, the greatest clay court player of all time, what has that got to do with the match, the semifinal match tomorrow, okay? What, what, I mean, what, how does that affect the match? Okay, people, check this out. It, it, it does affect the match. And let me tell you why, okay, people. I believe, and I've done videos on this in the last couple of years, I believe Federer believes he's the GOAT. Okay, he believes. Listen, he believes Djokovic and Nadal could surpass him one day. But I think right now, and I think Federer has always felt that way. He believes he's the goat. Now he does believe that Nadal and Djokovic are as good of a players as he is. Okay, I don't believe he believes he's uh, any better of a player than Djokovic and Nadal. I mean, they got different styles, and but but. But I believe he believes he's a greater player than them and that he is the GOAT. I, I believe Federer thinks that way, okay? Now, 
Of course, Nadal knows he's the greatest clay court pl uh, player of all time. And I don't think Nadal thinks he's the GOAT, okay? All right, so he was like, okay, Magic, okay, that may be true, but what has that got to do with determining who wins between Nadal and Federer? It sounds like you're just talking some, some, something about the GOAT debate, but we want to know, we want a preview of the match tomorrow, okay? People, it does have a lot to do with this, okay? Now, remember in the video I just made, I said that Federer, he sounds sort of confident that he has a good chance of beating the Dow. And he told, he, he took a chest, chastised, Lord have mercy, he chastised the sports writer for asking him a dumb question, uh, telling, or uh, uh, making a statement to him, telling him he doesn't have a chance of beating the Dow. Federer says anybody has a chance, and of course he does, okay? Because He's the GOAT. Okay, now people, people, what f frustrated Federer so much in the past when he lost against Nadal in all those French Open finals and in those other uh, smaller clay court tournaments? What frustrated Federer so much was that he knew he was a greater player than Nadal, okay? But yet, he had trouble with Nadal for many for the reasons that everybody know, and I ain't gonna get into all those reasons. Okay, all right. Now you may say, okay, Magic. Okay, uh, that's true. We sort of believe that that Federer, even though he lost against Nadal, he probably felt he was the greater player. Okay, all right. But what does that has to do with the match tomorrow, Magic? Okay, people, listen. You remember I told y'all that Federer in in his uh post-game news conference just today he sound confident and he said that he has a chance of beating Nadal and he sound like he has a good chance so people here's the deal I believe the reason why Federer feels that he has a good chance of beating Nadal is because of what I said that Federer thinks he's the greater player he thinks he's the GOAT not just the goat over Nadal, Federer thinks he's the greatest player of all time in his mind. And if he's the greatest player of all time, he should be able to be this, this greatest clay court player of all time. Sometime at least. at least. At least he should have a chance. Let's put it that way. At least he should have a chance. Okay. Now. We know Federer lost against Nadal in the past because of head trips and everything now. Nadal was in his head. Federer would break down, blah, 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 blah. You guys can go back. And you guys who just started watching tennis, y'all can go learn about all that. Go watch. Go watch. Read about it. They got all these matches on YouTube. All those uh, matches where Federer lost against Nadal in the French Open Finals. But people, this is, this is not 2005. This is not 2006, this is not 2008, 2009, 2010, okay, 2011, whatever. This is 2019, and what Federer is saying, it, 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 what Federer is saying, well, he was telling that sports guy, I'm the GOAT, bro, and so I got a chance of beating a Dow if I don't have any head trips, okay? So, if, now people, if I came from another planet, and somebody said, the greatest tennis player of all time, Federer, is going against the greatest clay court player of all time, Nadal. This is what I will expect. I would expect Feder Nadal to play the way he played, the way he beat Nisha Corey, the way Nadal crushed Nisha, Nisha Corey today. I would expect Nadal to play like that, okay? Okay. And I would expect Federer, since he's the GOAT, that they, now this is why I'm bringing this home, people. I'm expecting Federer to play an all-around game on clay, okay? So, which one of those are going to win tomorrow? Now we're now we bringing this home. Now, y'all see why this matters now? Will it be the guy, Federer, who has a more all-around game, if he can bring that out on clay, will it be him? Or will it be the king of clay, the greatest Clay quarter to ever live, Nadal, who plays the toughest, the most core game on clay, okay? The most consistent game on clay, all right? I mean, Djokovic is there too, we know, but we're talking about Nadal and Federer. Will it be, so y'all see the dynamics? So, so this is what, this is what we, so you, so you said, okay, Magic, I sort of understand what you're saying, but can you get a little, can you explain it a little more? Basically, people, 
this is what I see. I see the mentality called the, the GOAT mentality, the greatest play of all time style of play going against the king of clay style of play. So take your choice. Which one of those you think will win? Now, somebody would say, well, Magic, okay, we understand your theory. Maybe in theory, the greatest play of all time could be at least sometime or half of the time. The, the, it could be the greatest clay court style of all time that Nadal has. But Federer hasn't done that. He hasn't proven. Okay, people, that's, that's correct. But here's the deal. What Federer is thinking now, though, I don't have those trips in my head against the Dow that I used to. I was the goat over the Dow. I knew it, but I couldn't. I couldn't get the Dow out of my head. The Dow is not in my head now. So now I'm able to play a greatest of all time game. At least he hope he can bring that out. So, so that's what we're gonna see. Can Federer bring out? The greatest, can he look like the great, can he look like the GOAT against Nadal? Okay, we know Nadal gonna look like the king of clay, all right? So, 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 so the, the, the closest video up, this is what it's all about. Can the guy who most experts and fans arguably say is the GOAT, can he play like the GOAT tomorrow, okay? Now, if he does, he has a good chance of beating the diamond. Y'all see why the tennis prophet is saying he has a good chance if he can do that. And we know Nadal is the king of clay. He's going to bring the king of clay style against the goat style, okay? The, 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 the goat on all surfaces style, okay? And that's Federer. So whoever can bring out the best style tomorrow, is going to win that match. And we know Nadal is favorite. Nadal is proven he can bring out his king of clay style. Federer, now here it is right here now. This is where I'm going to get realistic. Federer has a proven that he can bring out his greatest of all time style. The GOAT style against Nadal. He's did it with other people on clay, but not against Nadal. Okay, people? Tennis preacher. The magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video.